911, can I help you? Hi, this is Tony from the Maui Kai front office, and we just had someone come off the beach and say that they got bit by a shark. Where can we meet somebody to direct us to where she is? He is bleeding. Is he off the beach? Is he off the beach? Yes. In 2013, there were 72 unprovoked shark attacks. Only 10 were fatal. Humans kill approximately 11,417 sharks per hour, 274,008 sharks per day, 1,918,056 sharks per week, and 100,012,920 sharks per year, just by finning. Finning is the brutal act of cutting off a shark's fins and throwing them back into the ocean. After the shark is pulled aboard, the fishermen cut off the shark's fins. This includes the primary and secondary dorsal fins, both pectoral fins, part of the tail, and any other fins on the shark. The sharks are often thrown back into the ocean still alive. Sharks must keep moving to continue getting an oxygen supply. As they swim, they push water into their mouth and gills, allowing them to breathe. Without their fins, sharks lose their ability to swim properly. They often sink to the ocean floor where they bleed out, drown, or become prey to other sea creatures. The death of sharks from finning is more than a tragedy. It impacts the ecosystem and balance of the ocean. Sharks are at the top of the ocean's food web and are often considered a keystone species. Removing them causes the whole system to collapse. Same thing that happened in Southern California. You kill all the sheephead, they eat the urchins, and then the urchins explode, they eat the kelp, and then the kelp goes away, and then all the species on the west coast of the United States have disappeared because there's no kelp, because they all depended on living in the kelp. So uh, it, it, one thing always affects something else. The extinction of sharks would lead to the loss of many other species and cause a severe imbalance for all life in the ocean. Once the sharks are gone, there is no way to get them back. Sharks have been around for 450 million years and have lived through five mass extinctions. Over the years, prehistoric sharks have adapted to become the sharks we know today. Now they are on the verge of extinction because people want their fins to make shark fin soup. The shark fins have no flavor, medical purpose, or nutritional value and are only added for their texture. Because it is so expensive, shark fin soup is eaten as a sign of wealth and the growing economy in Asia is making it more popular and accessible. The increase in demand for shark fins has depleted the shark population even more. Because sharks reproduce so slowly, the population is quickly decreasing. If this downward trend in the shark population continues, they are expected to go extinct in the next 10 to 20 years. Because of this prediction, several countries have put laws in place to help prevent finning. In a few American states like Hawaii, it is illegal to buy or sell shark products. This decreases the demand, forcing fishermen to stop finning sharks and focus on catching more profitable fish. Even with all the measures being taken to prevent shark finning in society, the number of sharks finned is only increasing. The shark is a fascinating creature surrounded by myth and misconception. Many people see sharks as a fearsome monster that will attack you every chance they get. Their countless sharp teeth and stealthy swimming make sharks deadly predators that leave people terrified. Sharks have a bad reputation because of movies and television that portray them as vicious killing machines. Sharks have a better reason to be scared of us. Humans are driving sharks to the point of endangerment. If we don't change the way we are treating these majestic creatures, we could lose them forever.